Hi guys, welcome to Strength Universe. Today we look at a comparison between the 8 time Mr. Olympia and probably the world's strongest professional bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman, and the winner of the Mr. Olympia 2009 world's strongest professional bodybuilder, Johnny O. Jackson. But before I start the comparison, I do want to mention that during the time that he performed most of his feats of strength, Johnny Jackson was between 40 and 50 years old. We start the comparison with the dumbbell press, where we find Ronnie doing his infamous press with 91kg or 200 pound dumbbells for 12 repetitions. And that compares to Johnny who's using 82kg or 180 pound dumbbells. Note that while Ronnie's range of motion isn't the best, it's considerably better than that exhibited by Johnny. The win on the dumbbell press undoubtedly goes to Ronnie, who exhibited a better form in pressing the 11% heavier weights for 50% more repetitions. The dumbbell press is followed by the deadlift, where we find Ronnie pulling 363 kilograms or 800 pounds, and this compares to Johnny who in this instance is lifting 372 kilograms or 821 pounds, but has a best lift in competition of 377 kilograms or 832 pounds. And while the result here may appear a draw or even a win for Ronnie, Johnny's deadlifts were done without the use of straps which makes a huge difference and thus he takes the win. The third comparison is the incline press, and Ronnie is pressing 184 kilograms or 405 pounds, compared to Johnny's 166 kilograms or 365 pounds. Both athletes' benches are at a similar incline, but this time Johnny is displaying a much better range of motion. Here I've only counted reps up to and including the first repetition where the athletes received assistance. And while Ronnie takes the win by achieving an additional rep at a 9.6% heavier weight, if we consider how much shorter his range of motion is, things are probably a lot closer than they appear. Up next is the overhead press, where Ronnie and Johnny are pressing a barbell with a combined weight of 143kg or 315 pounds, and both are using a similar range of motion but Ronnie is using considerably better form, remaining seated throughout and only using his shoulders to drive the weight. While both athletes use the same weight, Ronnie takes the win by achieving 20% more repetitions and doing so with much stricter form. The penultimate comparison is a lateral raise. And the videos that I've used here are representative of several videos that I've viewed. In this instance, both athletes are using the same weight of 32 kilograms or 70 pounds. But in my opinion, Ronnie is exhibiting better form, as we can see Johnny dipping his knees at the end of each concentric phase of the lift. So despite the fact he achieved more repetitions, when taking into account the form being used, I've listed this as a draw. The final exercise is a squat. And unfortunately, I was unable to find a representative lift for Johnny. So I've supplemented this video with him squatting 225 kilograms or 495 pounds when he was 50 years old. However, Johnny's best squat when equipped in the same single ply suit and knee wraps that Ronnie is using is 374 kilograms or 825 pounds, which is near as makes no difference the same as Ronnie's. 800 pounds for two repetitions. So I've listed this one as a draw. That brings me towards the end of the comparison. And while it's clear that Ronnie maintains his unofficial title as the world's strongest professional bodybuilder, I think it's very impressive how close Johnny came in some of the lifts, especially when considering his much lighter body weight and age at the time of those lifts. In powerlifting, that difference in body weight would have given him the win by virtue of having a higher dots coefficient. That brings us to the end of my analysis, but it'd be great to hear yours, so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think of Johnny Jackson and Ronnie Coleman. I've left credits and the athlete's social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help support my channel by smashing like, sharing the video, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Thank you.